Tired of squinting at those generic icons searching for the right file? There's a better way. Today we're diving into the top VS Code icon themes that not only ease your eyes, but redefine your coding space. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jeremy, and this channel is all about helping you to become a better developer with the latest tools and techniques. Okay, let's get started. Before we get started with those icon themes, first let me show you how to install and activate an icon theme. So the first thing we need to do is come over to the extensions and then just search the marketplace for icons. Here we can see that we get a lot of icon themes to choose from. If you know the specific name of the icon theme you want to install, you can just type that in here as well. So for example, if I type in material icon theme, I can see that I get that icon theme here. To install it, I'm just going to click install. And then after it installs, it'll prompt me to activate that icon theme. If I want to change the icon theme that's activated, I can just come down to this little gear icon. And then under themes, I can say file icon theme and then change it to whatever theme I want to activate. So no surprise, the first one on the list is material icon theme. This icon theme has over 20 million installs. It's an extensive icon collection that provides a vast array of icons for both files and folders. I really like its clean appearance and the icons have a streamlined design following material design guidelines. There are a ton of icons here to choose from including folder icons. Material icon theme also has a lot of customization options. To activate most of these, you just open the command palette with command shift P and then just type in material icons. The first option we'll go over is changing the folder color. Here we can see it in the list and I can change the folder color to red. And now if I create a new folder, we can see that the folder icon is red. I can also change it to yellow and we see that that's updated. And we can also set a custom color. We just enter the hex code. Let's just make it easy and do a white one. And here we can see that the folder is now white. We can also change the folder theme, which gives us three options, specific, classic, or none. Specific assigns the folder icon based on the folder's name. Classic just sets all folders to the same icon and none shows no icon for the folder. Here's what the classic folder theme looks like. We can also change the icon opacity. So let's make them really light and just say 0.2. And now we can see that the opacity has changed. We can also change the saturation. This value also needs to be between zero and one. So let's do 0.2, enter. And we can see now that we've changed the saturation of the icons. We also can set custom file associations. To do this, we'll just open up our user preferences and then search for material. And then here we can see that we have the option for material icon theme, files, associations, and we can edit in the settings.json. So if we click that, we can see that an object has been added here, and this will follow the pattern of the file name as the key and the icon top as the value. So for example, I can enter a wildcard and say .js, and we'll set it to something crazy here and say it's a value of JSON. And then we'll hit save. And now we can see that all of our JavaScript files have changed to the JSON icon. We could also say this is specific to the app.json. And now we can see that the app.js is the only icon that is a JSON icon. With this type of customization, your possibilities are really endless. So moving on to number two, VS Code icons. VS Code Icons has over 15 million installs. So not quite as popular as Material Icon Theme, but it's still up there. VS Code Icons also has a lot of icons to choose from here. It also has project auto detection to detect if you're using a framework such as Angular or React, and then enable the icons for those specific frameworks. Just like Material Icon Theme, VS Code Icons also has a lot of customization options. To change these options, we'll just open up our user preferences and search for VS Icons. Here we can see that there are quite a bit of settings we can modify. I'm just gonna start at the bottom. We have things like hiding the Explorer arrows, which is these little arrows right here. We can choose to use the official icons. So for example, let's set the JavaScript icon to the official icon. And here we can see that's the official JavaScript icon. We can disable the auto detect on the project. So if we set this to true, VS icons will not auto detect the project type and use specific icons for that project. And scrolling back up, we can change all of the associations for the icons. So for example, the default file for a dark theme or a light theme, VS code files, 
default folders, all kinds of things here. Let's go ahead and try one of these out. So I'm just gonna change the folder association here for an example. And here we can see that we have an array and it takes an object I'm just gonna paste in here. And here we can see that we wanna use the icon app for the source directory. We're gonna use SVG and also enabled for the light theme. We'll save that. And now we can see that the source icon has changed to the app icon. If I remove this and hit save, we can see that it goes back to the source icon. Just like material icon theme, VS Code icons can be heavily customized to suit exactly what you need. Changing it up for number three on our list is Monica Pro. This extension has over 2.4 million installs and its author is the same author that created Monica, which was the default color scheme adopted by the text editor Sublime Text. Monica Pro is a bundled color theme and icon theme but you can choose to use whatever color theme you want to use and just use the icon theme. If I click on set file icon theme, I can see here that there are a few icon themes to choose from. Let's check out monochrome. And now we can see that these are grayscale and spectrum and machine. We can see that these changed just a little bit. Monica Pro is a premium theme. And so therefore you need to purchase a license to use it. You can do that at the monica.pro website and it costs around $13. Number four on our list is material theme icons, not to be confused with material icon theme. It has over 3 million installs and it's made to be used with the material theme for VS Code, made by the same author. It follows a different take on the material theme and here we can see material theme icons and material icon theme side by side just to compare the two. There are a few variations of the icon theme and if we change it to say ocean, we can see that it's really only changing the color of the folders. We'll try another one and choose a lot. And yeah, it's, it's really just changing the folder icon color, but still overall a really good looking icon theme that you can quickly identify files with. Coming in at number five on our list is VS Code Great Icons. This icon theme is based around simple and easy to identify icons. It has over 200 icons according to the creator and there seems to be only the one variation with no settings to change. But even with no options, I think the icons still look great as they are. These are very clear, easy to identify. Overall, another great theme. Number six on our list is Nomo Dark Icon Theme. This theme features a dark icon set that features flat and borderless icons. I think it works really well with dark themes, but if you use a light theme, I think some of the icons are kind of hard to see. So for example, here's just the generic file icon and the image and a text file. These are really hard to make out. Just like some of the other themes, there are no other variations or settings to change on this theme. But if you are currently using a dark theme and need an icon set, take a look at these. Number seven on our list is City Lights Icon Package. It's created to go in conjunction with the City Lights theme, but as before, we can just install the icons by themselves. There are two variations, black and white and colors. Here are the colored icons and here are the black and white icons. I think I like the colored icons better. It does have one setting to change and that is to toggle the Explorer arrows. So to do that, we just open the command palette and search for City lights and choose toggle folder arrows and we'll set that to off and if we change that setting we have to restart vs code and now we can see that we no longer have the arrows i think i prefer the arrows so i'm just going to set that back to on and restart vs code number eight on our list is keen neutral icon theme this is a very minimal icon theme that's supposed to make it more comfortable for long coding sessions by being less distracting. There's only two icons in this theme that I can see. Here we have the folder icon and the file icon. This theme is not really my style, but I wanted to show it off in case you're looking for something simple. This could be what you're looking for. Number nine on the list is bearded icons. It was created to go with the bearded theme, but just like before, we can install just the icons. It features brighter colored icons that go well on both dark and light themes. Here it is with the light theme. There are no other options or settings to change with this icon pack. The icon theme page does recommend to set the workbench tree and dent to setting for better readability. So let's go try that out. We'll open the user preferences and search for work 
bent tree. And here we can see it's set to eight. And I'm gonna change this to 20. And we can now see that the tree indent is much larger than it was before. I do think this helps with readability, but at the same time, if you're in a project that has deeply nested project directories, I could see them running off of the screen fairly quickly. So I'll leave it up to you to decide what you think looks best. Leave a comment down below and let me know. And last on our list at number 10 is File Icons. It has over 1.1 million installs. It's a large collection of icons for most languages and frameworks. And there are two variations, colorless and color. Here is the colorless and here they are with color. There are no other configurable settings in this icon theme. All right, now that we've explored those fantastic icon themes, drop a comment down below with the icon theme that you're using now or thinking about using after this video. And while we're on the topic of elevating your VS Code setup, if you're eager to further enhance your coding workflow, check out this other video where I go over the best VS Code dark themes. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.